Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the new Target Swiss SP01 Darts. I've already done a video talking specifically about the new Target interchangeable point system so I'll put a link up for that. Um, obviously I'll go over a little bit of that in this, this one but this is uh, a review on the Darts. Anyway, there's three models in the range, SP01, 02 and 03 and these are the 26 gram version you can also get them in 22 grams and 24 grams and the 90% tungsten and like I said in the other video it's got a quite unique grip pattern which is kind of like the sort of data you would expect to see in the Elysian range um, so there's a lot of machining on there and it's got a back titanium coating and it comes with two sets of the Swiss points and also the Swiss point uh, two and these retail for £74.95 so let's check them out so the darts come in this colourful cardboard packaging on the back it tells you about the Swiss point system and what's inside the box if you just pull that tab inside there's a form insert holding everything in place you've got the Swiss point removal tool you've got two sets of points one's 26mm one's 30mm you've got a set of short pro grip stems and a set of ultra small standard uh, Swiss point flights so as you can see it's fitted with the Swiss points I've already done a video on these so your tool just goes in like that and you just turn it and it comes out but like I say I've already done a video on that so you just want to see it again quickly there's the point it's just held in with a, a very th fine thread and also the tapered section and obviously it's got that uh, groove there which is meant to be a safeguard from its breaking at the nose but obviously anything that has a groove in to me is in reducing a weak element and it's one of the reasons why I've never liked points with grooves in so it'll be interesting to see how it holds up and whether it breaks easy at that point and if you look um, it's got a fairly wide lip so if your darts are coming in let's see what it catches so it does kind of catch quite pronounced on that lip so what that will happen when you get some close grouping remains to be seen but the barrels themselves they're a nice uh, front weighted style nice taper and that grip is quite unusual it, like I said before it's kind of this sort of grip pattern you would expect to see in one of the Elysian models it's kind of like uh, like a honeycomb kind of style but it's got little indents and little knobbly bits but it feels fairly grippy probably high medium to maybe just verging on to high level and it kind of feels like little zigzaggy edges quite a nice feel the dart itself feels nicely balanced for me as a front gripper but obviously when I come to throw it it might feel different around the middle you got a smooth band with the SP logo on so obviously not a lot of grip there and on the rear section it's kind of like a curved ring grip with slightly pronounced edges so probably closer to a medium level grip there but if you're a rear gripper who likes a slightly front weight dart uh, you might find it quite comfortable gripping it on that section and obviously you've got your pro grip stems and these small standard Swiss flights of 
got the darts fitted with the 26mm point and there's also 30mm points like I said and the front of the barrel has got this kind of honeycomb style grip that's 28.4mm and then you've got a couple of grooves and a smooth band and then a, another couple of grooves that's 6mm on the rear it's a kind of a curved grip with pronounced edges that's 15.7mm then a small smooth section of 1.9mm length is 52mm width is 7.5mm that's 26.22 grams 26.23 grams and 26.23 again so nearly perfectly matched and the full setup is 27.73 grams with nothing attached the balance is just a little front of center and with the supplied setup it's pretty much right in the center and this is the balance with medium in between short extra short stems and standard flights of the darts feels quite nice for me as a front gripper but I'm getting a little bit of spiraling but that could be down to the stems and flight setup. Um, the grip itself it's kind of like a gritty feel it's like little mini zigzaggy edges but uh, quite a nice feel but I think if you're a beginner and you gripping it too firmly you may find it a little bit too grippy so as long as you don't grip it too hard I think it should work well um, and obviously as well it's quite chunky on the front part but I don't mind that myself it's obviously a front tapered style so it's always going to be like that uh, so I'll try it from the middle but I'm still a little bit on the whatever they call that grip uh, honeycomb grip maybe um, but I'm also on that little smooth band a bit there so let's see what that feels like and that flying a little bit uh, smoother through the air funny thing is um, my brother-in-law was having a throw with these yesterday and he grips it around the middle and they were flying great for him so for middle grippers it might be very nice but probably still depends on whether you like that kind of front weight style nice thing about this dart is it's got the grip pretty much the full length of the barrel apart from that smooth band so for rear grippers that like a front weighted style as well you got plenty of grip there so we'll try it from that part now Oop. that doesn't feel quite as edgy as the front section um, just a little bit less grippy but I think as long as you don't need a lot of grip you still should be happy with it seems to be uh, less spirally as well it was, it was kind of a bit too spirally, spirally from me at the front but from the middle and the rear seems quite a bit smoother but also it's a 26 gram dart which is a little bit heavier than I normally prefer but I usually prefer medium stems and standard size flights these are short stems and small standards but yeah should be fine for rear grippers Thank <laughs> you. 
There you go, 180. tensed up. Oh well, never mind. I've been getting lots in the uh, Trouble 20 on my other board, um, but I keep failing on that third dart, it's so annoying. Anyway, that's the Target Swiss SP01, 26 gram darts, and if I didn't know them points were screwing points, I wouldn't have known any different to be honest. It hasn't come loose at all. Um, I know I've only been uh, having a few throws, but it just feels like a, a one piece solid dart, like a fixed point dart should feel. Um, the only thing is, today is Saturday, and yesterday is when the, uh, the Swiss point darts came out, and some people have already reported that they've broken the points, so it's not too good. I know the design to break on that groove, but you wouldn't expect them to break easily, so I don't know what the people have done when they've broken the points. So whether it's just one offs or whether other people have had the same issue, we'll have to find out in the coming weeks, I suppose. It's a shame because the uh, dart itself is really nice, um, but I'm a little bit worried about the points breaking too easy. Uh, so that is my only concern, but great grip on the barrels, uh, nice looking dart and it feels nicely balanced for me as a front gripper, but I think middle and rear grippers should be happy with it if you like that front weighted style. My only issue at first was it was kind of spiralling a little bit and it was a little bit better on them last throw that he had, but it's still not as smooth through the air as I would like it to be. Could be just the stems and flights that I need to change but I'll try that. Um, other than that the grip is nice but maybe if you're a beginner and you're gripping it a little bit too firmly you might find it a little bit too sticky but just need a light touch and it has enough bite so you've got plenty of control on it. Around that smooth band is obviously not as grippy but on the rear it's less grippy there but it's still probably enough for most people. And balance from the rear, which is quite nice as well, but it does feel a little bit more front heavy. So overall, it's a nice barrel, but like I said, I'm not too sure about the Swiss point system, not yet anyway. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.